Sup, my friends, and welcome back to the Dragon's Lair. This is the Taoist Dragon of the Epic Peep Spam, but you can call me Toasty, and welcome to fun-filled underwater amusement park. Amusement, that's a word. Alright, there's creepy sounds. I don't like it. Well, I don't like any sounds because I don't know if I'm making them or not. There's a note here. It's about the Omni Tool. It's about upgrading it, all that good jazz. You guys want to read it? Uh, that's not what I meant to do, but that works. There you go. I'm not going to bother reading this because, yeah. <laughs> I just want to say this first. Uh, I'm hyped because I just got, what's it called? Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, Outer Worlds. Yeah, I just got Outer Worlds. Okay, that I just threw off. Let's be careful. Because I don't know if spooky scary robots are around here. So I don't got a weapon. This isn't a survival horror. This is just a horror horror. And it's spooky. But yeah, I just got the Outer Worlds. It's not on... Okay. That's creepy sounding. I don't like that. Uh, we're fine, I think, I don't know, I hear stuff, I don't like hearing stuff, it's all good, the worst thing they can do is kill me, <laughs> so yeah, that's the good thing, I may have to run some point. I don't know. I'm just kind of crouching through right now. I don't like this. I got an Omni tool. Get me out of here. <laughs> ah, it's denied. What was the point of this stupid thing? Uh, yeah, so I'm only going to play this for a half an hour. Sorry, I'm all over the place with what I'm saying and my thoughts. And all that good jazz. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be doing a Let's Play on the Outer Worlds. Yeah, it's only on the console, so I figured it'd be a good time to show it off. And I'm super stoked about it. Um, ouch. Yeah, probably not the smartest idea to walk into the lightning. But I'm not the smartest person I know. Give me this. If a monster tries to get my butt, I... We'll uh, throw this at them, and everything will be fine. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, it is super late right now. It's like 10 at night. I am exhausted, and I want to go to bed, but I also don't want to go to bed. I got homework and stuff to do, too. Not much, just staying on top of things, because I won't lie, I've been slacking. Just a little bit, not intentionally, it's just late in the semester, and all that good stuff. So there you go. <laughs> but, that's just an excuse. I'm not going to, uh, uh, eh, don't like sounds, don't like sounds. Sorry, my phone lit up. So... There's that robot in here. Spooky, scary robots. I'm going to drop this now because something tells me if a spooky, scary robot attacks me, that's not going to do much of anything. Uh, can we shut this? Thank you. I feel a little bit safer. Probably in the end of things, it amounts to nothing. But... Oh, I like this inventory. Okay, here we go. Um, um, I hear sounds and I don't like that. System status, warning, remote access denied, yada, yada, yada. Everything's gone to crap. Progress, crap. Omni tool, manage tool chip. Update, there's no tool chip. The Omni tool, your Omni tool sucks. It's 
pretty much what they're telling me. Well, screw you. My army tool is the best. I unlocked the toolbox. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors. Basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Hmm. You'll find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. I like that guy. He's funny. Managed to equip. I don't. Tool clip. Tool chip. Insert a freaking tool chip then. Gosh darn it. Freaking A. Inventory. There's nothing in you. Yeah, gosh dirt. Back away. Give me my Omni tool. It won't let me. I just did something though. Pilot C, yada yada yada, in progress. Cool, construct network. It's offline, no pilot. No pilot, I know there's no pilot. Reports. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Heat shields. Something about heat shields. Why do you need to worry about heat shields if we're underwater? There's no heat underwater. Everybody who's a science person knows this to be true. That's not true. It's a lie. I'm lying to you guys. I just figured I'd tell you the truth. <laughs> Gosh darn it. I'm sorry. I keep hitting the wrong button for that. I just unlocked the toolbox though. Right? Yeah. Two boxes unlocked. It's, un it's unlocked. What did I get? Oh, I got a chip. I'm getting all the chips. Give me, give me the chips. Put it in the thing. Cool, I put a chip in the thing. Cool. I'm so glad I did a thing. Now what? Now Omnitool, manage chip. I just inserted a chip. Update it. This is fun, actually. I really like this, like, retro future technology. It, it's pretty funny because that's what Outer Worlds is all about. I meant to, like, finish that thought at the beginning of this video and then just focus on the game. Eh, whatever. All I want to say is I'm hyped. I hope you guys are too... Why I wanna let me do anything there? Fine, give me back my Omni tool, you piece of garbo. Now what? Can I manage my tool chip? No, nothing's inserted. Eh, I just inserted it. Cool, can I put you back? No, okay. Well, I'm scared to go out here, but let's do it. Let's peek around some corners. And, uh,. Sorry, I got quiet. Thought I might have heard something. I hate the music, okay? It does its job. It's freaky. I'm spooked, but I hate it because it does its job. I keep hearing, like, sounds. Ah! I hear walking. I'm pretty sure it's just me, but it may not be me. Gosh darn it. I'm so on edge. I'm so freaked out. <laughs> mm. Leave me alone. I just want to go home. Okay. Ah. I'm not a big fan of spooky stuff. 
And yet I was really hyped to play this game, so I can't say anything. <laughs> oh, I got some new earbuds. So that's awesome. They're not like fancy smancy headphones. They're skull candy. They're like 10 bucks, but they're really good. Especially compared to like freaking PlayStation <laughs> headphones or whatever. So that was fun. I probably should still be sneaking because I don't know who's after my butt. All I know is it's something after my butt. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll stop talking about Outer Worlds for now. So <laughs> I was about to apologize. Heck, I even said sorry, but you know, I'm not going to apologize. I'm hyped. You know, it's a new game. Would it be playing it while it's new? So new that it's not even on PC. I have to play it on my PlayStation, and that's amazing. I rarely do stuff like that. I mostly do, like, indie games. <laughs> Nothing against indie games. You know, indie games have a lot of heart sometimes. Let's be real, fellas. There's some indie games out there that do not have a whole lot of heart. But, uh... Anyways, and Outer Worlds is a spooky game. From what it looks like, it's like Fallout in space. Which, I'm not a huge fan of Fallout. But what I don't like about Fallout is that it was very, like... Okay, we got out. We're getting outside. Woo! And there's light? I like the light. It's probably bad news bears, considering... This, we're underwater? Oh my god! I mean, I already knew that. I'm not going to lie. That's like the one twist I remember. My friend was scared to tell me that it's like underwater. Okay? But it's, there may be more. I don't know. But I do know about this segment. I watched people do it. Yeah. Oh, I guess I walked too far away, so I cut them off. Sorry about that. But I also don't want to listen to it from the top. Because that's just wasting time. <gasps> mermaids? They're like pretend mermaids that turn into demon fish. Oh, I love them. I love the demon fish. Oh, no, they're so going to bite my butt. Like nothing happened. Everything shit. Everything's still up. See, this is the whole I can't read. It really. <laughs> We'd say everything still looks the same, all the silence alike. I'm not mean to click the left mouse button. I almost said muff. And I think I might have, but throw the water bottle. Run! Run away from spooky monsters. Wow, I'm out of stamina already. I ran for like two seconds. What am I, a smoker? Can I help? Heck no. You can't help me, I can't help you. What is this? I want to poke the butt. Poke in the butthole. Seems like a good idea. It was a butthole and you tried to poke it and then it didn't work out for you. What doesn't hurt? My brain? Well that's not good. Or maybe it's great. Normally that would be a great thing except for the fact that I just poked a like freaking robotic butthole and now I'm like it doesn't hurt anymore by the way that robotic butthole did not give consent so that's not a good thing that is not how you do stuff Simon bad boy I'm being chased by spoopy monsters nah it's just a creaking and crackling of freaking underwater space station okay there's like a light scanning for me. It's all good. Worst thing that happens, they kill me. Remember? That's what I said. That's the worst thing that can happen, is I die. And it's just a video game. So, um, yeah, there we go. It's not like I'm dying in real life, fellas. So, remember that, like, the next time you're playing a spooky game 
Worst thing that can happen is you just die in a video game. Can I touch more robotic buttholes? With consent. That's the important thing. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm glad your brain doesn't hurt anymore. Strain breathing. I want to talk to this robot. This robot's like, I want to kill you. Let's masturbate. I mean, that's what would kill me. I hit the button. Oh no. I must choose between keeping the robot alive or killing it. I don't want to kill it, but it doesn't look like it's in good shape. Don't touch the structure, jail of leakage. Can't confirm its effect on what issue has been reported to the person. I can't let this robot just suffer. Goodbye, robot. Don't, but you're dying. Fine, I'll plug it back in. It won't let me. You're hanging on to dear life, but you're like, ah, my god. Ah, whatever, die. There, die. Oh no. What the fudge? I don't need the stress of my life. You were suffering. But does that mean it was okay to kill you? I mean, you didn't want to die. Uh, I don't know. We oh, hit the button. Now it's okay. Is that okay? You're stressing me out, video game. There's spooky stuff going on. And on top of that, throw in the chair. On top of all the spooky stuff, all right. On top of that, you're like asking me these big existential questions. You're making me like question my morality, killing robots that don't want to die, even though they're like dying already. And they're like, ah, screw you, video game. I forgot to mention there might be background noise, but it's too late now. Uh oh, I did that wrong. That's not it. So I hit this, hit this. And then, boop. And then, boop. I did it. That wasn't too bad of a puzzle. The worst puzzle was the first one. So far. Okay. I turned on lights. I could have progressed, though. Or maybe I could have. Maybe there's another way to get past without killing the robot. Sorry for talking over all the noise, but... I gotta talk sometime. Now what am I supposed to do? I turned on the power. Can I use this? It says everything's offline. Everything's offline. I get it. Gosh darn. Get a better Wi-Fi. <gasps> There's something online. What is what? What's happening? Hello? Is there anyone there? Nope. Hey, hey. Can you hear me? <sighs> I hear you. Uh, Absalot. What's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you... Ah, oh, signal... Oh, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, uh, uh someplace dealing with electrical power. I, I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Perfect. So... Can I... Can I unlock doors? The doors have been unlocked. I did it. I did it good. Sorry for crawling through stuff, but I wasn't sure monsters were going to pop out, so I was playing it safe. And now we're here. But you know what? I'm actually going to call this episode here, because it seems like a good stopping point. I talked about things and stuff. Uh-oh, now my phone's going off. 
So it is time to end officially or whatever. But yeah, this was fun. <laughs> this game has got me on edge. It's the music, you know? All the horror game design is in the music. Now I'm just rambling and ranting. But, oh, I just want to mention I want to try to do two videos a week considering I'm adding outer worlds to the whole mix of things. And I want to do that consistently, but I also want to make sure that I have a variety on the channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll play it by ear. But thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed this bit of the Dragon's Treasure. Pretend I like it. Visit Mike and drop it. And if you have... Ooh, excuse me. If you haven't already, I appreciate if you showed that sub and bell button some love. And don't forget, Sherry is care. Stay beautiful!